Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this black and white and blue water marble on my mom's short and small nails. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a reference, let's stick my pinky finger in here and you can see even like her middle nail is kind of about the same size as my pinky. So if you have short and or small nails, this one's for you. And if you'd like to see how I did it, just stay tuned. I'm going to be starting out with a base coat and I'm going to be using gripper since I don't think my mom is interested in peeling off her manicure after a couple days. Once the base coat is dry, I'm going to go ahead and apply a base color. I'm going to be using OPI Alpine Snow. Then I'm going to be marbling with that plus black onyx as well as Sally Hansen blew it. I'm going to start building my bullseye and as usual I'm working in a five ounce cup of room temperature filtered water and instead of dripping the colors absolutely consecutively I'm going to be doing white in between each the black and the blue. Once the bullseye is built, I'm going to go ahead and stretch up to the top and then down to the bottom. And I'm going to start off by drawing in some relatively thin chevrons by going from side to side in the cup. And you can kind of wipe your orange stick off on the edge of the cup. That can kind of reduce how often you need to go off and wipe it on like a napkin or something to the side. And once I've finished drawing in the chevrons, I'm actually gonna go ahead at kind of an angle and draw in a wavy line. And I'm going to repeat that on either side just to add a little bit of randomness to the design. Then I'm going to have my mom come in here with her fingers and aim for a spot that she likes and then go ahead and dip. Dip. There you go. All right, you want to clean up the surface of the water so that none of the polish sticks to your design. And once the surface is clear, um, goes without saying too, when you're doing someone else's nails, make sure they know what's going on and what you expect them to do. So now we can go ahead and straighten your fingers and pull slowly out and there's the marble design. So let's just go ahead and zoom in a little bit here and I'm just going to pull your fingers apart just a little bit. Um, when you dip two fingers and they get stuck together just be very careful when you're removing the latex not to uh, mess up your design and whoa that was a close call there she's actually sticking a little bit to <laughs> to my paper towel so I'm just trying to be very careful mm -hmm. and since I don't have anything on my nails that makes it a little bit easier for me to kind of guide this along and there Whoa, almost spilled a bottle of polish. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean up her nails. And then once I finish marbling the others, I'll go ahead and finish off with sesh feet.
So here's the finished manicure, and it's not my favorite that I've ever done on my mom, but I still do like it quite a bit, and especially her thumbs. I really like the way the design turned out on those. Got a little bit more of a swirly pattern rather than just a wavy line. And just to show you guys a couple of my test strips, I went through several black, white, and blue combinations this one, I actually like the way the design was turning out, but the blue was blending with the white, and for this particular manicure, I wanted them to be more defined. So I eventually went with the colors that you saw me using, and I considered this design, but I wanted to add just a little bit more to it, and continuing to draw through it also makes the lines skinnier so that when you have small nails like my mom's you don't just end up with several thick chunky lines. Um, like I did mention in my last video every water marble is a learning experience and one thing I learned today is doing it on someone else liquid latex is a little bit trickier to use. So I do think I'll be going back to tape the next time I do my mom's nails. But, like I said, not my favorite ever, but uh, a good water marble. I would love to hear what you guys think down in the comments. Um, like I mentioned, or you probably saw, my nails are naked right now. So I'll be having a new design on my own nails within the next couple of days. And then another Fan Choice Friday coming up at the end of the week. So stay tuned for all of that. And as always, thanks for watching.